Hi everyone, Adam here. Uh, I am making a series of videos where I explain studies in hopefully 60 seconds per study. Today I'm going to attempt to do Casey's study in less than a minute. I've got my phone timer here, so let's start the clock. In 2011, Casey et al. investigated 59 participants who had been studied since the 1960s. Uh, they sorted those participants into high or low delayers based on their performance in a test of temptation back in the 60s, the marshmallow test. Uh, the study was a two by two by two design. Participants were told to click when they were shown a male face or not click when they were shown a female face or vice versa. The faces were either happy or fearful in the hot condition or neutral in the cool condition. In experiment two, participants just did the hot condition, but they did it while they were in an MRI scanner. Loads layers made significantly more mistakes on the no-go trials. They clicked when they shouldn't have done 12.2% of the time compared to 9.96% of the high delayers. In the brain scans, low delayers had significantly more activity in the ventral striatum, which is the reward center of the brain, and less activity in the inferior frontal gyrus, which is part of the prefrontal cortex. This tells us two things. One, the ventral striatum makes them tempted, and the inferior frontal gyrus helps us resist it. And two, if you're bad at resisting temptation when you're a kid, you'll probably also be bad as an adult. Good things about this study are a decently sized sample, high replicability and quantitative data. However, there are some issues with ethnocentrism and the confounding variables caused by a quasi-experimental method. That was 114. It's a complicated study. That's my excuse anyway. Where are the marshmallows? Hmm.